life. Welcome to Husky Stadium in Seattle, Pac-12 football. It's the Washington Huskies taking on the Colorado Buffaloes. About a terrific start to the season for Keith Price, second in the Pac-12 in passing efficiency behind Stanford's Andrew Luck, and his 17 touchdown passes has him on pace to set a single-season school record. He has been outstanding, just a sophomore. Chris Polk joining him in the backfield. Price with a little pump fake wide open down the far sideline. Price with a handoff. Jesse Callier still on his feet and another Washington first down. He has had a terrific season so far. That is Polk in motion. Quick swing pass. That's Kevin Smith and he has a first down. Loss of one on the play. Price, a lot of time, wide open target, touchdown, Jermaine Curse. Nobody in the neighborhood that time as Jermaine Curse hauls in his team leading sixth touchdown pass of the season. Well, you, get, you see that defensive back, his eyes are in the backfield a little bit. They look at that little play fake to the sideline and Curse is wide open in the middle. Quick, we saw the early score, but it's not just the offense. The defense has got to do their job in that as well. well. We've already seen plenty of big plays, and the Huskies got off to the quick start. Now trying to respond on defense. Hansen, end zone. Waiting for the call. Touchdown, Colorado. Throw 17 sacks this season, tied for first in the Pac-12 with Arizona State and Stanford. Price on third down. Open target, first down, Jermaine Kerr. Three yards, and then he'll break one. He'll wear a defense down. Second all-time leading rusher in UW history and has a chance to surpass Napoleon Kaufman this season with runs like that. Ten-yard gain for Polk, who's up to 34 yards. Check it, 19 yards rushing. Oh, diving reception by the outstanding true freshman tied in Austin Safarian Jenkins he is special boy if you ever wondered what the athletic ability of a tight end can be I mean that's as good as any wide receiver is going to make you see those big mitts get underneath that football cradle it before it hits the ground and that is as good a play as you'll see in college football I mean that guy's all of six seven six eight and a, just a perfect throw and a tremendous catch by Safarian Jenkins. And around, this is Kevin Smith with a lot of room. At the 20, gets a block. Touchdown, Washington. <laughs> How about that for some razzle-dazzle? That play didn't look so great right out of the gate. Well, Kevin Smith, one of the fastest players on this roster, they take advantage of Colorado's aggressiveness to the football. Those players, they're going to be able to get him over the top as Desmond Trufant comes up. Canty, a redshirt freshman out of New Orleans, picking up six yards. Hanson, feeling some heat. And gets basically taken down. Brad Obi, 6'3", 290 senior. Getting a hand on that pass attempt. Second down play. That's Bishop Sankey, a true freshman out of Gonzaga Prep. Early on in his career with the lack of success of that football team. Third and one, big hole up the gut, Polk. First down. Play clock at 13. And the reception. Third down, less than a yard for the Huskies. Price will throw, wide open target, Safarian Jenkins, touchdown, Washington. Well, I love what they do right here. Third and short, they act like it's going to be the power play, and they run Safarian Jenkins on a little corner route. You see the defense. Oliver on to attempt the field goal, 46 yards within his range. And it's good, Oliver connecting. Price, eight of 11, 113 yards, two touchdowns. Polk with some room across the 40. And out. Grab the game. 
Devin in the slot to the right this time. Price going to the right. James Johnson with the reception. And Johnson with a not really helped he's a play caller, whereas I feel in years past he may have had to try to get the ball to one or two guys as opposed to spread, up, spread the wealth. Offense with so many weapons. I think Sark has really had his best year as a play caller. Price on the keeper lunging forward. And pitched too many times in terms of before he throws the ball. He's really throwing in rhythm and throwing on time. Second down and ten. Open in the end zone. Touchdown Washington. Chris Paul. This is a fantastic play here. We talked about play call, a great play call. They're faking the screener. Chris Polk looks like he's gonna go out and block the perimeter defender. That pump fake brings everybody up and they get lost and Chris Polk wide open. Well, a bit more predictable offensively. Colorado certainly has its work cut out for it as they are down by 18, guys. Bring the blitz, Price quickly out to James Johnson. Maybe may be changing the play. Time. Austin Safarian Jenkins. What a terrific catch with Anthony Perkins all over him. And he just yanked that football away, spun around, and picked up some additional yardage before Douglas Rippey made the stop. Well, that time they're bringing the, the heat. They're bringing six. And that means they're matched up man to man. He's four for four on third down conversions. Polk, he has the first down and more. Rust for this UW offense coming out of the bye uh, wiped away in this game. Price, tons of time. Outlet to Callier. Jesse Callier. Polk out of the Wildcat. Keeps it inside the five. Price wide open. Touchdown Washington. Devin Aguilar saying hello to friends and family back in Colorado. Again, Terrell safety, or excuse me, Terrell Smith is a converted safety out there playing cornerback. At one point in time, they've had eight different guys out during the same game in that defensive secondary. And right now, no match for the wide receiving core of the University of Washington. For six games of the season. So some special stuff going on this afternoon. Blitz from Trufant, and Hansen goes down. Thompson will try to pick it up. And down he goes, Everett Thompson. Another sack for the Huskies. Telling Keith Price, young man, get back out there and just keep on doing what you're doing. You look at the TD passes. He, at this pace, I mean, he is going to destroy Cody Pickett's single season record of 28. He was on pace, if you include a potential bowl game, before this game started for 44 this year. So another four in the first half, and he's just going to shatter the record books. Time for Price. Man open over the middle. Jermaine Curse. Sure, Polk's happy to take it. Price again, Curse again. Down to the 22 yard line. Eric Folk on to attempt the field goal. Seven of eight this season with a long of 53. This one from 42 yards. And it's good. So the football. First down and goal, Colorado. After the eight yard gain, Jones. Is he in? He is. Touchdown, Buffaloes. The future is now. Keith Price has arrived. Redshirt sophomore. Curse. Boy, terrific hands that time. CenturyLink.com. First and 10, Buffaloes. And Alameda to Amu says, Tony Jones, you have nowhere to go. Well, a big play by the senior D tackle. Getting a lot of notoriety this season. He just flat out beats his man to the punch. I mean, that is pure strength. That's quickness off the football. Blitz coming. A shovel pass to Jones. Forget about it. Again, Jamal Curse, who's really coming on. And you need down the stretch, especially with the schedule they've got coming up in games that are sure to be tight. He's five out of six on third down conversions. Make it six out of seven. John Aguilar. Nine 
yard completion. First down and 10 for the Huskies. Polk. Big hole up the gut. And to the outside. At the 30. And down near the 25 yard line before Douglas Rippey took him down. Well, a great example, you know, Patrick Mankey on third down has a chance to get off the field. He's in position to make a play. The Huskies convert, and then boom, first down comes. A huge hole, and Chris Polk goes powering through there down the sideline, delivers a big blow to the Colorado defender, and just like that, the Huskies are knocking on the red zone door. 28-yard gain. Polk now 96 yards on the ground. Callier. Big hole. Busts it to the outside. Touchdown, Washington. Third freshman. Nick Montana, and if you are not familiar, yes, the son of one of the all-time NFL greats, Joe Montana. And right out of the gate, going to the air, and heat from behind, loose football, and the recovery for Colorado. He was, and he made a heck of a play for the Dodgers. Third and goal. Jones into the end zone for the Colorado touchdown. Jesse Callier got into the end zone for the first time. And this is really where this offensive line's got to take over this football game. 204 yards on the ground for the Huskies. Polk four yards away from 100. And this is Chris. Out to the left side. He's got 100 yards and more. First down and 10 for the Huskies. Callier shifting into the backfield. Montana rolls to his left. A reception to Devin Aguilar. And you are just about a 50 50 as you get a good look at a young man who made his Husky debut today. Nick Montana, Bishop Sankey into Colorado territory. And off Callier. Shake and big. Nice cut. Callier at the 10. Jesse Callier inside the five yard. Lopsided numbers, as you might imagine, with the scoreboard where it is at 45 24 third down and goal for the Huskies Montana in the shotgun Sankey can he get in touchdown Washington that's release the homecoming is scheduled by date not by opponent <laughs> the defense Huskies with the blitz and Hirschman will go down. Garrett Gilliland with a sack. Well, Cooper Pelour comes over from that weak side too, and they finish the game with style. And that is it here at Husky Stadium. Just two games left now in this old house before the major renovation and the renovation of the Washington Huskies continues.